welcome back. Here we are for round two, episode two of Cooking with Rich. I am Rich. Um, today I'm going to be doing something quite traditional. There's one of these recipes that you do not mess with at all. So you'll notice with a lot of the recipes that I do, I do play around with things a little bit, but this recipe, no. We're doing the old school carbonara. So lots of debate whether you put cream in it or not. No. All right, it's just eggs. Eggs, deliciousness, and pasta, of course. So I'm using a bit of guanciale and a bit of pancetta. So the Italians will say, use guanciale, because that's the ant's pants, really. Unfortunately, my little fella down in the deli didn't have enough, so I've had to improvise and use two tires. And what I'm doing at the moment is separating the eggs. So I'm separating the yolk from the white. So I've already done a few there. Let's see if I can do it without making a mess. Now don't throw away your whites either, because you can actually freeze these. And you, you know, there's a lot of recipes that require egg whites. So pop them in the freezer and um, save them for a rainy day. So there we go, I'll get that out of the way. Now, here we go. So I've already removed the rind from the guanciale. And I'm going to do the same thing with the pancetta. Again, don't throw these stuff away. Keep it, because basically what I love to do is I love to add it to st uh, stocks. I love to add it to pasta sauces, soups. It just adds a bit of flavour. So, and nothing goes to waste. I've got my dog hovering around my feet in the drop zone, hoping something delicious will fall off the bench. Sorry, Desi. There we go, we've got our tubes of deliciousness for another day. Now it's just a matter of, here, look, just for you. She always gets something. Now I'm just going to slice this all up. And cut it into small cubes. So I have 200 grams of guanciale, and I have 200 grams of pancetta, and I have six egg yolks for this recipe. Now, guanciale is uh, cured pork cheek, so very, very fatty. Remember, fat is flavour. And then you have pancetta, which is from the pork belly. So, still nice, but <coughs> that's better. <heaven. laughs> now, you can cut this to whatever size you like. I like a little bit of a bite, so I don't like to go too small. Is it? And again, you're witnessing my amazing knife skills. By no means am I a chef. I'm the very, I'm a very Maggie Beer kind of guy. I'm a cook. Probably looking at it going, this is really fatty, you want this, okay? Because there's no oil in this recipe whatsoever. It all comes down to the delicious fat of the pig. <laughs> so now it's just a matter of dicing it. I've already got my water boiling. The joys of having an uh, electric stove top is everything takes a hell of a lot longer. So the water for the pasta is boiling, I've got the pan on for the um, cured meats. They say that cooking is good therapy as well, so, well, it's certainly my way of relaxing. It's certainly a way of getting out your attention of the day. All those people look annoyed you. You can chop them on the chopping block. 
take out your anger, vent a little, be creative, go back to childhood. And that's the other thing I love about food as well, is it takes you back to good times. Remember, we have about 400 grams of complete fatty deliciousness here on the board. And we're ready for the pan. So, yep, she's hot enough. In we go. Oh, that sound is one of my favourites. It's a sizzling sound of pork fat. So what you want is you want all the fat to render out. Gonna have this little layer of fat on the bottom of the pan, but don't stress, we need it. And you want your pan cheddar and your guanciale to crisp up a little bit. And at this stage, we'll take a little bit. I've got it on a medium to high heat. I don't want to go too overboard with it. That happened. We'll get some eggs going. So fix the oak. Give them a good whip. Amazing colour. Pecorino Romano, Parmesan. Only dairy products to go into the carbonara. So, and this quantity is completely up to you. I'm a cheese freak, so the more the merrier. And one last little thing, cracked pepper. Now one of the stories of carbonara was it was the coal miners' lunch. They used to take their dried eggs, or their powdered eggs, I should say, and their bacon into the mine, and they'd whip up this dish, and the black pepper would look like the coal. So, hence why there's that little bit of story to it. There's so many stories to where this comes from, you know, who you knows. She's all mixed up, looking lovely. That is slowly rendering away. Getting a bit of colour there on the pork. That's the eggs are done. Next ingredient is our parsley. Fresh from the communal garden of the apartment block. Remember to wash it. Dogs like to pee on it. Better drunk humans. So I've taken some of the stems off, not all of them, because there's a lot of flavour in the stems, so, and I like that little bit of crunch. Being a very rich dish, the uh, parsley gives it a nice freshness and breaks through the richness. All right. Time for some pasta. I'm using bucatini, which would be like the traditional pasta that they would use. Spaghetti is great, fettuccine is great, tagliatelle is great. I really like this stuff, it's a little bit thicker than spaghetti. It's also got a little hole that goes right through the centre so it sucks up the juices and the sauce. I'm only going to use about three quarters of a packet. There's only two of it, so 
And carbonara, if you're cooking it this way, is one of those dishes you can't eat tomorrow. You need to eat it fresh on the day you make it. Another trick too is season your water. Lots of salt. Pasta water should taste like the ocean. And it also helps bring your water back to a boil quickly. Lid on for a bit there, with the bubbles start happening. This is coming along beautifully. Turn that down a little. Okay, so pasta's come to the boil. Now the next trick is turn the heat off and remove from the heat. You don't want heat anymore, because that's just going to scramble your eggs. You want it to start cooling down a little bit. Get some of the water out. You want a little bit of the pasta water in because it will help thicken up the sauce as well. So, and a little bit of seasoning. You've noticed that I have not put any salt into that at all. It's just the pasta water. The pancetta and the guanciale are salty enough. And that little bit of pasta water that's going in will just help it out with the fraction. Bit. There we go. Start stirring through. So you're getting all those beautiful juices and fats going through the pasta. And you're probably thinking, what the hell are you going to do with the eggs? Well, I'm just letting this cool down a little bit, just a fraction, and then I'm going to mix the egg yolk in. And the residual heat will actually cook the eggs through. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be scrambled. A little bit of parsley, save some of it for the, for the end. Give that a mix. No single is to waste. The bit that will make or break. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't scramble. In goes your egg yolks and cheese and pepper mix. And start stirring immediately. You want every single piece of pasta to be covered in egg yolk. Whoops. And now she's all done, so she's all nice and creamy there. Time to dish up. Yes, we're big eaters in my house. We're going to come to the carbon and we are anyway. I'm going to Charlie and then share all the time. A little bit left here. Later on, a bit of Pecorino Romano. More crushed pepper. Mm. 
And there you have it. Next thing is, is to dig in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 